Welcome again to Alpha Omega general training videos. In this tutorial, we will be learning about electrohydrodynamics modeling using ANSYS Fluent software. ANSYS Fluent is a powerful computational fluid dynamics tool that provides advanced capabilities for EHD modeling. The purpose of this tutorial is to provide a comprehensive overview of EHD modeling using ANSYS Fluent. Whether you are a skilled student, researcher, or engineer, this tutorial will assist in enhancing your expertise in this field. So let us exploring, uh, begin exploring the intriguing realm of electrohydrodynamics modeling. Electrohydrodynamics or EHD modeling is a computational technique that is used to simulate the interactions between electric fields and fluid flow. This type of modeling is particularly important in various industrial and scientific applications such as inkjet printing, electrostatic uh, uh, precipitation and microfluidic devices. ANSYS Fluent software is a powerful tool that provides a comprehensive and flexible environment for EHD modeling. With ANSYS Fluent, engineers and researchers can accurately model complex physical phenomena which enables them to predict and optimize system performance. This, in turn, can help drive innovation and efficiency in various industries such as their aerospace, automotive, chemical, and biomedical engineering. ANSYS Fluent's robust capabilities and user-friendly interface make it a valuable tool for simulating and analyzing electrohydrodynamics and for advancing, uh, advancing scientific research and technological innovation. Electrostatic precipitators or ESPs are a crucial tool in pollution control particularly in industries that emit particulate pollutants. They function by applying a high voltage charge to particles causing them to gain an electric charge. This charged dust is then drawn to an oppositely charged collector plate where it adheres effectively removing it from the gas flow. ESPs are highly efficient, able to remove over 99% of dust particles and can handle large gas volumes, making them ideal for industrial applications. They are widely used in power plants, metallurgical plants, and other industrial uh, with high particulate emissions. Despite their high upfront cost, their efficiency and long lifespan make them a cost-effective solution for pollution control. However, they are less effective against very small or uncharged particles and their performance can be affected by the chemical composition and temperature of the gas. Electrospray and electrospinning are two versatile techniques widely used in material science for the production of micro and nano-sized particles and fibers respectively. Electrospray involves the application of a high voltage to a liquid to create an aerosol often used in mass spectrometry for the production of ions. On the other hand, electrospinning uses a similar principle but uh, the product is a fiber instead of droplets. These fibers with diameters in the nanometer to micrometer range have a high surface area to volume ratio, making them useful in applications such as filtration, tissue engineering and drug delivery. Both techniques allow for control of the particle or fiber size and distribution by adjusting parameters like solution properties, electric field, and flow rate. Despite their simplicity, 
These techniques require precise control of parameters to ensure repeatability and reliability in the products. EHD pumps, also known as ion drive pumps, utilize the principles of electrohydrodynamics to provide a completely solid state flow of fluid, making them a key component in advanced cooling systems. They generate an electric field that interacts with charged particles in the fluid, causing the fluid to move. This is especially useful in cooling systems where traditional mechanical pumps may be less efficient or reliable. EHD pumps are silent, have no moving parts, and can be miniaturized, making them ideal for cooling electronic devices such as CPUs, GPUs, and high-performance computing systems. They also offer the advantage of being able to precisely control the flow rate by adjusting the electric field. However, they require high voltages to operate and can generate ozone, which requires a careful management. Despite these challenges, EHD pumps represent a promising technology for the future of cooling systems. Electrohydrodynamics is the study of the dynamic of electrically charged fluids. It is a crucial aspect of many industrial and scientific applications, including inkjet print printing, electrostatic precipitation, and electrospray ionization. ANSYS Fluent, a powerful computational fluid dynamics software, provides robust and accurate EHD modeling capabilities. It enables users to simulate the interaction between electric fields and fluid flow, accounting for the effects of electric forces on fluid dynamics. Coupled Field Analysis ANSYS Fluent allows for the coupled analysis of electric and fluid fields. This means you can solve for the electric field and fluid flow simultaneously, ensuring a more accurate representation of real-world conditions. Charge Transport Modeling Fluent enables the simulation of charge transport due to the conduction and convection. This includes the effects of the electric field on charge transport, as well as the impact of fluid flow on charge distribution. Electric body force. The software can calculate the electric body force exerted on the fluid due to the electric field. This force can significantly affect fluid flow, particularly in applications involving small volumes of fluid. Multiple fluids and phases. ANSYS Fluent's EHD model supports multiple fluids and phases. This is particularly useful in applications such, such as uh, electrospray ionization where different fluids interact under the influence of an electric field. User-defined functions. Fluent allows users to customize the EHD model using UDFs. This means you can incorporate complex physics or phenomena that are not inherently included in the software. Robust and accurate numerics. ANSYS Fluent is known for its robust and accurate numerics. This ensures reliable and accurate results even for complex EHD simulations. In conclusion, ANSYS Fluent's EHD model is a powerful tool for simulating the complex interactions between uh, electric fields and fluid flow. By providing robust and accurate EHD modeling capabilities, Fluent enables users to tackle a wide range of industrial and scientific applications. Please 
Note that the use of the EHD model in ANSYS Fluent requires a good understanding of both fluid dynamics and electromagnetism as well as experience with the software itself. Let's enter the ANSYS Workbench software. ANSYS Workbench has become a game changer in the field of computational fluid dynamics, providing a comprehensive suite of software tools like Design Modeler, Space Claim, ANSYS Discovery, ANSYS Meshing, and Fluent Meshing. It offers re remarkable geometry modeling capabilities that allow users to create, modify, and manage their 3D models with exceptional precision and ease. If you select and drag, the geometry into the project schematic window by right click on the geometry you can find the discovery space claim and design modeler in turn ansys meshing and fluent meshing are both well known tool um, used by professionals in the field of computational fluid dynamics they are famous for their ability to produce high quality mesh using advanced algorithms that provide accurate and precise simulation results. These tools play a crucial role in simulating complex fluid flow, uh, fluid flow problems and enable professionals to do so with confidence. Here's the ANSYS machine software. You can drag it into the window. And also the fluent meshing is here just under the fluent, fluent, uh, with fluent meshing. You can drag them by right clicking and selecting the edit. You can enter the softwares. But in order to enter the ANSYS fluent software, here I select fluent and drag it into the project schematic window right click and edit ok our solution is 3D in order to accurate the uh, increase the accuracy of the solution I uh, enable the double precision option and the number of my processors is 12 this is the parallel um, uh, feature of the ANSYS fluent after clicking the start and after a few seconds the ANSYS Fluent will be loaded. Are you ready to explore a vast array of mission options that will leave you amazed? Our software offers you multiple options to choose from each tailored to meet your simulation needs and elevate your user experience. But that's not all. We provide you with advanced mesh quality shaking tools that are nothing short of impressive. With these tools, you can gain a complete understanding of your simulation's accuracy and identify potential issues before they become major problems. This gives you the freedom to concentrate on uh, achieving the best results for your project without worrying about the accuracy of your simulation. With our top-notch mission options and quality, uh, quality checking tools, you're sure to experience the ultimate simulation software experience. Okay, at first, I can import a project that is solved before.
Okay, that's it. The encasing uh, data files are uh, imported successfully into the software. You can see the geometry of the solution. You can check the mesh file. And you can see the work done. And also you can report the quality of the elements of your mesh file uh, uh, using different parameters available in ANSYS Fluent. You can also take a look at surface elements created in ANSYS machine software. Are you ready to take your simulations to the next level? Look no further than Fluent. While the software is renowned for its advanced machine capabilities, that's just the beginning. With Fluent, you'll have access to have an array of powerful tools for visualizing geometry, mesh, and graphical results, including a contour, a vector, a streamlines, and different kind of plots. These tools are not only highly intuitive and customizable, but they also provide a thrilling way to interact with your data, gain deeper insights, and make better decisions with Fluent, your key to unlocking superior outcomes. ANSYS Fluent is a highly acclaimed computational full dynamic software that offers an expensive, uh, extensive range of uh, versatile models to address a wide range of physical phenomena. The software features an impressive suite of turbulence models, which is available in the model section. Uh, turbulence models such as uh, Reynolds Average, Navier Stokes, or RANS, Large Eddy Simulations, or LES, and Direct Numerical uh, Simulation, or DNS. Multiphase flow simulations are enabled through the software's Eulerian, Lagrangian, and Volume of Fluid models here. Furthermore, ANSYS Fluent incorporates heat transfer models including conduction, convection, and radiation to provide a comprehensive solution for CFT simulation. The software also offers various uh, combustion models such as a finite rate edit dissipation, partially premixed, and premixed to uh, eight combustion simulations. Additionally, ANSYS Fluent provides species transport and reaction models for chemical species uh, and various spatial models like acoustics, porous media, and discrete phase models. ANSYS Fluent's impressive array of features and functionalities makes it a comprehensive and reliable tool for CFD simulation. Electrohydrodynamic modeling in ANSYS Fluent is a powerful tool for uh, simulating the interaction between electric fields and fluid dynamics. This is particularly useful in applications such as electrostatic uh, precipitators and inkjet printers. ANSYS Fluent provides a robust EHD model that solves the navier stokes equations, the electric field equation, and the charge transport equation simultaneously. The electric field is computed from the electric potential and the charge transport equation uh, accounts for convection, diffusion, and source terms. The source term can include uh, space charge, a charge from uh, ionization and recombination as well as wall deposition. The EHD force resulting from the interaction of the electric field and space charge is included in the momentum equation. This comprehensive approach allows for accurate simulation of EHD phenomena. Okay, if you double click on the MHD model, here you can uh, see the electrical potential option. Here in the solution control tab, you have a various a variety of options. Uh, for example, the solve MHD equation option, um, uh, this option allows you to solve the magnetohydrodynamics uh, equations. Uh, MHD is the study of the magnetic properties of electrically conducting fluids. And the MHD equation is a, a conservation law that uh, describes the flow of such fluids. The Lorentz force is the force uh, 
this option uh, force on a charged particle due to electromagnetic fields if this option is checked the Lorentz uh, force will be included in the calculations the included joule heating uh, option also known as the resistive heating or ohmic uh, heating is a process by which the passage of an electric current uh, through a conductor produ uh, produces heat if this option is checked joule heating will be included in the calculations the uh, dc b0 scale factor this um, uh, is a scaling factor for the uh, DC or uh, direct, uh, direct car uh, current magnetic field uh, B0 this allows you to adjust the magnitude of the DC magnetic field in your simulation also the under relaxation is a technique used to help the solver converge to a solution more reliably by under relaxing we slow down the changes to the solution from one iteration to the next which can help avoid oscillations and instabilities in the next tab which is the boundary condition tab we have our different boundary conditions and zones the boundary conditions are in type of wall boundary condition and our zones okay um, in front of the walls we have insulating wall conducting wall and coupled wall the insulating wall uh, boundary condition is used when there is no current flow through the wall in other words it's an insulator and the electric field and then does not penetrate this boundary the normal component of current density to the insulating wall is zero in case of conducting wall, uh, this uh, boundary condition is used when uh, the wall is a perfect conductor. The tangential component of the electric field is zero at the conducting wall, meaning the electric potential is constant along the wall. But uh, the coupled wall, this boundary condition is used uh, when the wall is neither a perfect conductor nor a perfect insulator. This allows for current uh, to flow through the wall, but not as freely as uh, in the conducting wall. The coupled wall condition needs additional input parameters, such as the wall thickness and the wall material conductivity. Uh, here you can specify uh, the voltage or current and the value, and here the uh, material of the Well, each of these boundary conditions is used in uh, different scenarios depending on the characteristics of the wall in the physical problem you are trying to model. In the next step, we have the external field B0. Uh, the option B0 input option uh, allows you to specify how you want to input the external magnetic field b0 the patch option lets you specify the b0 field in different regions of your model you can define different values of um, b0 for different patches in your model in case of import this option allows you to import the b0 field from a file the file should contain the B0 field data in a format that ANSYS Fluent can interpret. The field type option uh, lets you specify the nature of the external magnetic field uh, B0. Here we have uh, two options for field type, which is a uh, DC field and AC field. The uh, DC field option indicates that the B0 field is a direct current field, uh, meaning it remains constant over time. But the AC field option indicates that the BC field is an uh, alternating current field, meaning it varies over time. And finally, the B0, uh, X, Y, and Z mean 
options let's uh, let you specify the mean values of the b0 field components in the x y and z direction okay here i close the models and setup and now we have the methods in the solution section I'm delighted to discuss the powerful pressure velocity coupling schemes that ANSYS Fluent offers. Here you can see four schemes offer, uh, offered by ANSYS Fluent. Let's begin with a simple or semi-implicit method for the pressure linked equations algorithm. This iterative method is perfect for steady state calculations, providing reliable results with great computational efficiency. Next we have the simple C or simple consistent scheme. This modification of the simple scheme offers faster convergence and less under relaxation, making it an excellent choice for dealing with complex flow simulations. The next one is piezo or pressure implicit with splitting of operators scheme. This two-step method first solves the momentum equation followed by the pressure correction equation. It's an excellent tool for transient simulations. The last one is coupled scheme. The solver simultaneously solves the pressure and velocity equations, making it ideal for handling high speed compressible flows. It's a game changer when it comes to tackling challenging simulations. Each of these schemes in ANSYS Poland brings its um, unique strength to the table, providing you with a wide of solutions uh, for your uh, simulation needs. Also, you can select first, second, quick, and third order uh, discretizations for each of your simulations. The next option I want to mention about is uh, the initialization. The standard initialization method initializes the flow field uh, by setting flow variable to user specified a constant values through the computational domain. This method is often uh, used when you have a good estimate of the flow field. On the other hand, the hybrid initialization method initializes the flow field by, by interpolating values from the boundary conditions. This method is particularly useful when you do not have a good estimate of the flow field. It can provide a better starting point for the solver, especially for complex flows, leading to faster convergence. In this project, we have used hybrid initialization. And finally, we have the run calculation. And here, we need to uh, enter the number of iterations. In ANSYS Fluent, the iterative mode of calculation is critical process that is used to solve complex problems in a step-by-step -step manner. The software divides the problem into smaller, manageable parts and solves them iteratively until it reaches the final solution. This method is particularly useful when dealing with nonlinear problems, where the solution is not directly proportional to the input. The software continuously refines the solution in each iteration, providing a more accurate and precise result. The iterative method also allows for better control and monitoring the uh, monitoring of the solution process, enabling users to make necessary adjustments to achieve optimal results. Okay, after entering the 1000, we can hit the calculate and the solution will start to get solved. Okay, after about 180 iterations, the solution is completed and converged. And now you can uh, extract some graphical uh, um, views from the graphics under the results. The first could be contour. Let's take a look at pressure, static pressure, velocity magnitude, or temperature.
Next, we have the vectors. We can extract the vectors in some defined planes. And if you zoom in, you can see small vectors in this plane. You can also save picture from the graphical view by clicking on the save picture, selecting your format, your color and type and resolution. And finally we can extract the streamlines. Uh, the color by option is temperature uh, and realist from surface is inlet. Save and display. And here's the streamlines from inlet to outlet boundary condition. Overall, it, let's uh, take a look at the figures saved from the ANSYS fluent. This is the contour of electrical potential, geometry, magnitude of J parameter, surface elements, static temperature, velocity magnitude, static uh, temperature, velocity magnitude, and residuals of the solution. Okay, that's it. Uh, the EHT model is introduced uh, completely uh, using a sample project. I hope that uh, you have enjoyed this training video.